what is good y'all welcome back to another video now today i got a warzone settings video for y'all now shout out to Kayla's zippo for recommending me the video uh i got you bro so i'm not really a you know warzone player i'm not a fan of it as i am you know multiplayer uh i kind of like rebirth better as well well i used to obviously it's a little sweats now so i can't play it but it was pretty fun when i had it um they also introduced dark aether into warzone which kind of sucks because i don't play it no more which is uh very unfortunate but I got you with the settings video. I did change it when I was playing. I uh, I try to get the best frames, so and it worked. So now I'm gonna show you guys what I did. So first of all, I'm gonna link down the drivers version down below. Um, it's probably one of the best drivers out there. You know, when I update it, my game starts crashing like shit, and it's very dumb. It's stupid how once you update your drivers, it crashes. It should be the opposite of that, but you know, whatever. Nvidia. So I'm gonna link the driver down below. It's a Nvidia driver. If you have a AMD, can I help you? This is pretty much for NVIDIA, but the graphics are uh, for anyone here. So let's go ahead and get, get into it. <clears throat> so obviously display adapter, you're going to want to pick your graphics card. I have RTX 2080 Super. You want to pick your monitor's refresh rate, which is the max that it shows here. If you want to change it, you want to go ahead and go to your uh, desktop, right click, go to NVIDIA control panel. And if you don't have this here, then I'll leave a link down below to where you download it. You just go here. This will pop up, go to change resolution, and then pick your, uh, ref uh, your resolution, 1920 by 1080. And then go to refresh rate and pick 165 or the highest that, that appears. Now go ahead and head back on the war zone. And then pick the highest that pops up. Now for render resolution, if you're playing in 4K, then you want to up this to 4K. But if you're just on a regular... Uh, 1920 by 1080 then you want to bring it down to 100 now sometimes it'll reset by itself so if it looks if you enter in the lobby and it looks very choppy then this is most likely the reason why for some reason it's always reset by itself i can't really explain that that's uh that's their side that's their problem they gotta fix that shit so display resolution 1920 by 1080 aspect ratio leave it on automatic sync every frame v-sync i have that disabled my monitor doesn't support G-Sync, so there's no point of having it. Custom frame rate limit. You want that on custom. You want to max this out. And for these two, you want to leave it at 60 or 30. Or both 60. Up to you. You don't want to go over. NVIDIA highlights. I have that disabled. Uh, NVIDIA reflex low latency. Enabled plus boost. You can keep this on just enabled. But you know, usually the boost works with uh, more frames. Display Gamma 2.2 sRGB, stream quality normal, texture resolution normal, texture filter anastrophic, anastrophic high, particle quality high, bullet impact sprays enabled. If you spray and you don't see nothing pop up, then this is the reason why you want to enable that. Tessellation, you want that on all. On demand texture streaming, standard quality. And then you go ahead and copy these. Shadow map resolutions. Now these, all these right here take up a lot of uh, VRAM. So shadow map resolution, you want that on low. Cache spot shadows, disabled. Cache sun shadows, disabled. Particle lighting, low. Direct X ray tracing, you want that disabled. Now unless you're looking for a, like a good, crisp quality game, you're probably going to lose frames. So if you want that, you know, you're gonna, it's a plus, it's a pros and cons kind of type of situation. But if you want a lot of performance, then you're going to disable all of these. Filmic strength, you want that on one. NVIDIA DLSS, this is a, like a preset. You want that uh, disabled. Anti-aliasing, SMAA1X. Now for this, you can really uh, test it out yourself. See which one you think is best. Depth of field, disabled. World motion blur, these are very pointless. Disabled. Weapon motion blur, disabled. Like literally, it doesn't matter. Who wants this? Who wants it? Who wants it to look like that? Like literally. Film grain, you want that on zero. You don't want it to look ugly. This is pointless too as well. Like who wants their shit always looking like that? That's just dumb. Dynamic resolution disabled. And dynamic resolution frame rate target 60. Now I haven't tested this one out, but from what I'm seeing right here, it looks like it'll uh, try and adjust to the main targeted frames. So if you want this all the way at 300 and enable this, it will try and keep it to 300. Um, I'm not sure if this is a good thing to do, 
but i'll just disable this in my opinion let it do what it does best and uh give you the frames that it's able to and that's pretty much it um let me know if this works for y'all um i can give you some more settings but uh, let me just go through it for y'all go ahead and adjust it to your liking not really sure what'll change from this area controlling i don't know but that's pretty much all i know Field of view, we are using 120. Now, the higher you go, the more frames you will lose. I don't think it'll be that much of a difference, but as you can see, you'll you'll be uh, seeing more, which is a, a good thing. But the frame, you might lose a little bit more. ADS field of view, we have that on affected. And brightness, that's uh, that has to do with you like in person. So adjust this to what it says here, barely visible. I keep it on 55 though. Uh, this is 100, 100. Disabled, subtitles disabled, colorblind type. I have this one. I don't know how to say that. Interface, minimap shape. You always want that on square because you see a lot more. Minimap rotation enabled. Compass, cardinal, direction text. Oh, we have that on letters. Kill feed, time on screen, default. We don't really care about that. And the rest of these isn't really a. Uh, Anything else. You also want to turn on frames per second. You want to see how much you're getting, obviously. Um, server latency and packet loss. It's a, uh, it's up to you really. Graphics processing unit GPU temperature. You want this enabled. You want to know that if you're losing frames, you want to see whether it's your GPU or not. If it's overheating. There are softwares that to boost your GPU fans so it can cool down quicker. And that is MSI Afterburner, I believe. You can also overclock it. From that uh, application make sure you guys also hop into a game and then test out the frames and then from there make sure you come back and then tell me if it worked and if it didn't you know maybe we can fix something up maybe we can work something out if you have any questions let me know down below in the comments and i'm glad to help every single one of you peace and the rest of this is pretty uh, irrelevant. So I hope this helped you guys. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe for more tips like this. And we do upload daily COD content videos. So let me know what you guys want to see next. I love you and I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>